What's up guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and right on schedule we have our update. So let's go over everything that dropped today on SAOIF. Right after the intro guys. Alright guys, so as I said we had our update and first things first as soon as I logged in panel mission showed up and it said I had four completed already so what's cool is that apparently there's a new item in the game called exp crystals so guess what guys we can now get exp crystals to help ourselves level up uh, I don't I mean small gives you 10,000 experience points I'm kind of interested to see what other crystals there are or how much experience points the rest of the crystals give um, I'm going to hold on to those crystals. I'm not going to use them right now because 10,000 and I have six. That's only 60,000. That's really not much. So I'm just going to hold on to them. Um, the first three that cleared, uh, I yeah, you saw them there. I, I'm sorry. I kind of skipped it really quick. But so the next ones are clear the character quest Tauros King Hunt three times. Clear the uh, character quest Evil Treants Hunt three times. Hippocampus Hunt three times. Event quest secret training and clear the dim white room three times and then get level 50 equipment that is able to be equipped. All right. Um, I had somebody ask me about this one really fast. So I will explain this to you. You just basically have to get equipment that is level 50. Um, and when I say equipment that is level 50, basically you go, let's go to enhanced trade and then production. At least this is what I believe it is. We'll, we'll know in a second here. Uh, so if we go to equipment level 50. This one right here. Let's just produce that really quick. Let's see if that... Um, if that clears that one. And there it is. It cleared that one. So you just have to make a level 50 piece of equipment. And boom. Cleared. So the you know whoever asked for that one. There you go. That's how you do it. Uh, but let's go into the updates really quick. Uh, I have a gift. Not really. Uh, all right. Go back. Here we go. New notifications. Let's let's see everything that dropped today. Let's see if the calendar that got released was actually correct. Um, where are we? Okay. So about burst revision. Items added to the merchant lineup. All right. We'll, we'll see that in a second. Notice for maintenance 3 6. All right. Let's take a look at this first. Maintenance content, anime broadcast celebration event part 7, Another World Begins. World release, first anniversary panel mission part 1 begins. Calm Blue Rose Order begins. Anniversary Avatar Festival begins. Raising assisting character campaign ends. Assisting character order ends. Uh, items added to the merchant lineup. Other small adjustments and fixations. So this is all the all the stuff that uh, that's here. Um, Alright, let's back up. Go to notice list. Okay, so let's take a look at the the uh, item, the items lineup to the merchant list because this was severely needed. So we're gonna find out what got added really quick. Equipment you can purchase changes depending on the floor. The lineup for purchasable equipment on each floor has changed. Bows can be bought at ninth floor merchant and above. So let's. I guess we'd have to actually take a look at the the merchant. So let's let's do that. Let's go to items, enhanced trade. We're gonna go into. Oh, I actually have to go to the merchant. Well, okay, I just happen to be on floor ten right now, so let's take a look at that. Uh, can I like zoom out? All right. So where's my merchant at? Uh, seriously, dude, where's my where's my merchant at? You know what I might have to I might have to check this out later <laughs> I don't want to screw around with this right now uh, eatery owner that's not what we're looking for yeah I'm gonna have to check that out later let's go back to notices or else that this will be overly long and I don't want it to be overly long so moving along all right about burst revision this one's kind of important here 
Notice for those users logging into Sword Online and Circle Factor, the, a revision to the burst feature is set to be implemented during maintenance on March 13th. So they are let, giving us notice ahead of time that burst is going to be uh, updated, which we already knew was happening. So before the change, Black Pioneer Kirito, 1,020% damage. This is the free one that we got. It's getting, wow, that's a big buff. 1,360% damage. That is a big buff. These are big buffs. Holy crap. Sort of like Asuna goes up to 1,400. And then the critical rate is 30% for 30 seconds instead of 20. One wish, one wish Sachi goes up to 1,760 damage. Uh, 30 seconds instead of 15. These are massive buffs. Wow. Okay, top speeder Leafa. This one didn't. This one's. Yeah, this one got buffed too. Um, the first part stays the same. The second part, 1500, 1520. Wow, okay. Oh, oh. Hold on. Why did they change that additional damage based on max HP for 20 seconds? That, that didn't change. Why did they. Raise the amount of additional damage. Oh. Yikes. So as you can see here, like I'm not gonna go over all of them, but there's a lot. They, they, that is a big, big buff for all of them. So if you want to go check them out, go check them out, guys. That is a, that is, dude. If you guys have burst skills, awesome. I don't, I only have the free one. Um, maybe they'll release another burst banner when that drops. I could actually see them doing that, something like that. If they do, and I have Arcana, then I'll summon on that burst banner. Un, un, otherwise, that's not gonna happen. Um, all right, so. Let's see, panel missions, we just kind of briefly went over the panel missions. Um, so there there it is. We get XP crystals, martial arts, text, arcana gems, and release crystals. And then we get the um, ordinal scale battle coat bottoms from that. And then, like I said, the new items, XP crystals, small. I'm really wondering about medium and large. I wonder if it's something we can farm. That would be cool to like farm xp crystals on top of you know getting xp from farming uh if anniversary avatar festival is here if you guys care about the avatar stuff all avatar stuff that has appeared until now is in this banner like i said if you care for it uh let's see calm blue rose orders here again i don't have any arcana but if you guys do for the first time only you get 11 orders for 1500 arcana gems it's not a guaranteed banner and it only has one featured skill on it, which is this Yu-Gi-Oh! skill. 880% damage, four times hit all foes. Uh, own defense increases plus 1% per stack for 15 seconds. Nice! Additional damage effect will be doubled by the buff ability. That is really nice. Okay. Okay. This is this goes really well for like all the other freaking defensive skills that are out there. Wow. Okay. Too bad. You know we don't have the Arcana to summon on this, or else I would I'd probably go for it. I mean the the just be honest with you the um, the rates are probably trash, but why not? You know if like I had the Arcana, it, it's a decent skill. It's not it's not the best one. You know like I still prefer the OG Yu-Gi-Oh skill because it it is overall better uh, you know because it gives you that massive buff for your basic attack but they actually those two skills actually go well together so there's that anime broadcast celebration part seven um that is that the boss that's probably the boss get weapon avatar blue rose sword or a Yu -Gi -Oh! skill record is it like or meaning you can only get one Or you can... I'm pretty sure you can get both of them. Piece of the Blue Rose will be deleted on April 10th. Wait, what? What is that? Piece of the Blue Rose. Otherworldly Big Tree Fragment are items that can be used to create special weapon avatars for an event to be held at a later date. Take good care of them. This is confusing. This is very confusing. Piece of the blue rose. 
Oh, they're talking. Okay, okay. They're talking about. Okay, so you get piece of the blue rose is the trading item. I should have read that. I was, I was, I just wanted to look at everything. So these are the boss monsters. Uh, you have a cockatrice, you have a Fenrir, and you have the white witch. Those are the boss monsters on this event. Um, you get, you can get the skill record. Straightforward will Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a support skill. 100 additional damage when attacking while the defensive buff is in effect. Uh, Icy Blade dealing water damage to enemy plus 5%. That's not too bad. That's that's not terrible for a free 4 star. That's not terrible at all. New items. Fruit Water instantly recovers 1000 HP. Cure status elements. That's good. Kind of needed that. Alright, so let's see here. Arcana Gems. 50, 50. That's always the first thing I look at. 50, 50. So 200 Arcana Gems from this event. Um, get some record frames, release crystals. Not too bad. Hopefully it's not a, like, grind fest. I, I don't think it will be. These type of events, they're not really grind fest. You could actually grind them out relatively quickly. Um, so that's not too bad of an event, to be honest with you. Uh, Red Impulse Order Part 3 is here. The Age of Inclined skills. I mean, no Arcana. Can't really get either of these. But let's take a look at these skills anyways. You got Fierce Cannon, Agile, 1080 damage, all foes, what percent? Earth Element damage to monsters, plus 25% for 15 seconds. That's not bad. I like that. I like that. It, it debuffs them put with a, you do extra damage with Earth, Earth Element. I like that. Aqua Conversion, Fire Elements damage to enemies, minus 10%, and Water damage to enemies, plus 25%. I like that skill. Finally, we actually get a decent Klein skill. And, you know, like, he actually looks cool right there, too. So, finally, man, showing some love to Klein. Uh, that's not a bad skill at all because there's a lot of water element skills, especially with all these Yu-Gi-Oh! skills dropping. So, hell, I would take that. I would take I could use that. Definitely could use that. Um, but, again, no Arcana to actually try to go on this banner. So, I mean, it is it is what it is. Now, there's another thing that is also here. Okay, so let's go to list of events and campaigns. Um, is it going to say it here? I don't think it's going to say it here. No, it's not going to say it. We, we have to actually go to our guild. We have to go to the guild room. All right, so let's, let's do that. We're going to go to the guild room because there is something else that's active in the game at the moment. Um, I think I could just actually teleport to the guild room. I, it's been such a long time. Let's go to communities. Uh, where's guild? Guild, 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 guild. Can I teleport to the guild room? No. Wow, okay. Let's, um... Let's go to the guild room, then. Teleport, please. There we go. Okay. Now... Some of you guys have been sending me screenshots of this because, you know, I'm a little slow when it comes to some updates. Not all, it's just some. Just some. When, you know, the, like the, the day transitioning over is a little bit slower for me because I work during the day. So I have to record the videos when I come home from work. Where before, when I wasn't working, I could just stay up all night, wait for the, you know, wait for the, uh, um, what do you call it? Wait for the update to happen and then go for it. Uh, guild room. All right, let's go to the guild room. Let's take a look at this. Now, what I'm referring to is um, apparently the guild boss raid event is back. Uh, but it's the point system. It's, you know, it's not the... What do you call it? It's not the actual like raid raid that we had before and, and like it just continues from where you left off it's not even like oh well okay then you know it, it everything gets reset or whatever no it just continues where you left off so that's back if you guys never ran this before you can um i mean it's 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 the event sucks i'm just gonna be honest with you the events suck and the uh the rewards are crappy too like I, i'm just i'm just being 100 percent with you guys I, I i ran this on a live stream last time i'm not running this again i 
I have no reason to. I don't care about these. I, it's not no, nope, not worth it for me. But if you guys actually care about it, or if you miss it the first time, then I would say go ahead and do it. Why not? Why not? Uh, with that, guys, that's going to be it for the update today. I do appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot that you guys support the channel. I know it was rather long for an update video. Uh, I just wanted to go through everything to just make sure, okay, we're good to go. But make sure you guys are hitting that like button, subscribing if you guys are new. All that fun stuff. Stick around for more SAO content as well as some other content as well for other games that I play. Like Epic 7, Resident Evil, and other console games. I'm going to be playing Apex Legends soon. With all that, guys, I'll catch you all later. You guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out, guys.